Here at Impact, we give a lot of tips and tricks for what to do to improve your sales process. But what does it actually look like when you work with us in our sales training program? Well, luckily with us today, we have sales and marketing consultant, Ange Bourgeois here with us to tell us a little bit about it. Ange, how's it going? Doing great. Good to see you, Austin. Hey, great to see you too. We're here today to talk a little bit about Impact's sales training. I just wanted to hear a little bit more about it. What can someone expect if they're going through our sales training program to kind of be doing on a day-to-day basis or week-to-week basis? I love it. So sales training really breaks down in a few key components. Um, One thing that we would really focus on is sales leadership training. And one of the things that we would be doing with the sales leadership is really trying to instill in the culture, what does it look like to have good sales meetings, to review calls, to role play, um, all that stuff, right? So we would work with the leaders And then we would also work with the sales team. And one of the things that we find that we do most often with the sales team is we role play with them. And a lot of companies will role play or, but, but they'll struggle to actually do it or they'll feel a little weird as they do it. Unless, unless you've had someone who has done lots of role play before actually do it with you, it can be difficult to actually replicate. And so one of the things that we do is we get the whole sales team together and we role play the common objections that we're getting in the sales process. And then we take that and we work with the sales leader to identify what do we need to keep working on? What's the feedback that we're getting? And then identify the right spot for us to coach and train on. Awesome. I love that. So you talked a little bit about how you kind of work with salespeople and sales leaders. Um, do you ever kind of mix those two groups? Is it always separate? Um, is it yes, the same good, trainer for both those groups, trainer or coach? Good question. Yeah. So basically, and and it can change client by client, right? But generally speaking, it's um, a meeting. So a coach meets with the leadership one week, and then the next week they meet with the leadership and the sales team. And then in between then, I forgot to say this on the on the section right before this, but in between then, They're often sending calls to the coach. The coach will review them and figure out, okay, where are we losing this deal? Are we explaining and scoping before we actually understand why they want to change? What's driving them to change? What questions do we need to ask? And then then we take those questions that we need to ask. We role play those in uh, in the scenarios. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And so kind of through the sales training process, I know obviously the goal is to get more sales by the end of this process. If you are going to say what the end goal was for this whole process without saying to get more sales, how would you kind of describe that? It's a good question. I mean, at the end of the day, the the only reason that you'd pay for sales training is if it would grow the business, right? And a, a few stories maybe that will show exactly what you could get would be one a remodeling company that we worked with this past year interest rates were super high and because interest rates were super high a lot of people were holding on to their money not wanting to do remodeling and what we saw as we really focused in on getting the reason why they want to change is we saw a higher closing rate in a worse economic condition than they had been closing before, right? So that's one story that kind of shows some things that you can expect. Now, not only were we closing at a higher rate, but we were also more aligned with sales and marketing because then the as the marketing team was in on those sales trainings, they were listening to the things that we were role-playing, the things that the sales teams were getting stuck on, the things that the customers were concerned about. And then they were able to then go make content on the front end um, to better educate customers and to give the sales team the content that they need to assignment sell in between the process. So that's some of the things that you could expect, mainly in you know the sales team performing better, having better conversations, ultimately closing more business. The other thing that you could expect is the sales leadership feeling more equipped to truly run this initiative on their own, feel comfortable role playing, feel comfortable looking at sales analytics, feel comfortable identifying the correct problem, and then move and coach with confidence. 
And then the other thing would be, now you have the marketing team in on this. They're bought into the entire sales initiative. And ultimately, everyone is getting better and better at communicating because we're practicing and we're role-playing and we're giving feedback. Awesome. Sweet. Love that example you shared and sounds really exciting. Um, if somebody is looking for help in their sales for their business, how can they get a hold of us here at Impact? Yeah. So, I mean, the easiest way would be just to book a call and you can talk to me, you can talk to one of the other members on our team. And what we would do is we would, we would just break down, Hey, what made you actually reach out and book the call and figure out what you need help with? Uh, we'll take you through a little process. And if it makes sense, then we would connect you with a coach and could get you set up from there. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Ange. Appreciate your information on this call and we'll see you on the next one. Awesome. Thank you, Austin. Like Ange said, if you and your team are looking to grow your business by improving your sales process, contact us at impactplus.com today.